All right. Well, welcome to Block 3 uh, CP Composition. As you know, Miss Myers and I have been taking on a journey of narration. And last week, we took some time to look at stuff like context and point of view. Um, this week, we're continuing our journey. Um, we'll be looking at dialogue in our in-class day and the impact it can have in a story. Many times students don't realize how much it adds to the story. Uh, not to mention we use dialogue, it adds to the length requirement. Yeah. Easy way to get some length to your paper. Not that that should be the reason you're putting the dialogue in, mind you. And then we have the description and dominant impression. Basically, I call this the shading of the paper. It's the tone and the feel that you can give to your paper. And we're gonna be looking at that in day two. Unique to this week is our virtual day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to be doing, we'll talk about that in a second. So many times in our narration, we have description, right? Um, and, uh, and these are description notes. So just like you did with the narration notes, I want you to read the packet and answer the questions uh, in the description part. As so you'll see that the questions are there, you're going to do it exactly the same way we did it before. And then there's a secret to show, don't tell. This builds on description, but really you don't need to have done the description unit to do it. And what I want you to do is read this, this, the secret to show, don't tell, which is right here. You want to read it. There is an assignment, at the, the, a practice at the end. You don't need to do that practice. The practice I want you to do is here. We're going to create this sentence. They went to L.A. to see us parents. And you're going to write a story. You're going to explain that statement. You're going to show me them going to LA. So you want to think about why you want to describe it, get visual, make it come alive, maybe even include some dialogue, right? So that's what these things are. Let's talk a little bit about the virtual day. The whole purpose of our narration unit has been what? For the college application essay and the narration. Yeah, so we're going to have a choice here starting next week to either write your college application essay or to do a personal narrative. And we'll start that day one next week. On our virtual day, we're going to be introducing you to the college application essay, things to think about when you're writing, ways to structure it. We'll be looking at some examples and all that. So that's what this information is. So you see a lot of information here, but we are not, this is not something you're doing on your own. We will be leading you through this starting at 1 o'clock to 1.50. So I had a question from a student yesterday. You do have to be at your computer and logged in to be marked as here. Yes. So you can't be off doing something else. You're going to be needing to have your access to your computer and be able to read the assignments. If you don't, you'll be marked as absent. Mm -hmm. And uh, so just be aware of that. So about 50 minutes, so a little bit shorter than the normal class, which is fine. And it won't be just us talking. We'll be having you do different things throughout it and then having some discussion on that. So just wanted to bring that up because that's kind of that's a new thing next week. And it'll be a learning thing for us. So we're just going to kind of see how it goes. Um, if you have any questions, please contact Ms. Myers or myself. You can do so through Remind or through emailing me at scott.hertzog at penmatter.net. Anything else I'm missing? Um, just that the virtual day will be a Google Meet, and the link to that will be at the top of this page. Yeah, and actually not this page, but if you go to the top of the stream, it's right there. So that'll be our Meet link, and we'll just... Hop into that and uh, start meeting. So we aren't going to do that today. We'll get that set up today. Okay. All right. Well, again, if you have any questions, please let us know. And we'll see you next week or we'll see you in line. Or we'll see you this week or we'll see you in line.